comes in with a tackle. Fabinho. Promise. And shoots! And they've scored. And they've opened the scoring here. Yo, what's up guys, and welcome along to another squad builder. Um, today we're doing a 200k squad. Um, obviously I've made a lot of coins since the last one, which was a 50k team, because um, you know it's very easy to make coins in the game this year. Division rivals, even squad battles comes out quite a lot. Uh, yeah, I've got to give props to EA for that. It's been really awarding this year, and yeah, I built a really fun squad. I was struggling in the 4 2 2 second variation earlier, which was my favourite game formation in the game. But I've changed up to this 4 3 2 1, and in my opinion, this is the best formation in the game that I've tried so far. Obviously, it offers like the narrow, and um, the narrow because you've got forwards, left, left and right forwards, but you also got a bit of width, especially I tell them to go a little bit wide. And yeah, I do think it is a great formation, and the team, as you're going to see in a few minutes, well, very soon, is excellent. Right, so the first player up is Ariola. Uh, he's a great goalkeeper, six foot five, and um, yeah, very good shot stopper. I should actually mention in advance, apologies for the like menu bar at the bottom. bottom. Um, when I was going to edit this, it corrupted, so I just had to take screenshots of the footage instead, which was a bit of a shame, but that should be fixed in the next video. So as you can see, he's got six foot five. Is Ariola? Um, he's played a lot of games for me, as you can see, and he is a non-rare, but I'm being really happy, very happy with what he does for me. Uh, the right back is Kieran Trippier, the absolute legend of the England World Cup team. I think he was one of our best players at the World Cup with Harry Kane, in my opinion. And um, yeah, pace isn't so important on this game, so you can get away with 75 pace. He's excellent on the ball, which is very important actually in this game. Um, and yeah, he's a very good defender. Um, as you can see, high high work rate, which was perfect for a full back. A four-star weak foot's very nice as well. Um, yeah, excellent crossing. I think he might have the highest crossing stat in the game. Do correct me in the comments down below if that's wrong. But yeah, King Trippier is a great player. Um, then the two centre backs I've gone for are oh, first up is Davison Sanchez. I managed to snipe him last Sunday. Obviously, he's had his price range updated, but I did get him when he was extinct. I was really chuffed with that. I spent ages trying to get him. But yeah, I did get him. And the left centre back is uh, Presley Kambembe, who's also a very good uh, centre back. I play a lot of games with him. So you can see Davison Sanchez. Uh, I managed to snipe for 40k at the weekend. He's played a lot of games for me, and I've been very pleased with him. In my opinion, one of the best defenders on the game. Very solid, medium high work rate, good pace, defending and physical. And then next to him, I could press on Kembembe, who's also one of my favourite defenders on the game, if not my favourite. He's um, obviously very good in, in the challenge. He's also his left foot is great for playing on the left side, and he's he's sort of the modern set of back, so you can play out from, from the back and turn very quickly. Very good player in my opinion. And the left back, I've gone for uh, Jerome Rossillon, but you can go for literally any ref, uh, left, uh, sorry, French left back. Yeah, on the game if you want, like Lucas Hernandez, Theo Hernandez, uh, Mendy, any of the Mendys, so yeah. But I went for Sinning, so I got him untradeable. Um, he, he is very really good for, for me, good pace, uh, defending and physical, and left footed, which is great for playing the left-hand side. And then the front, well, in the mid three or three, sorry, are Rabiot, uh, Sissoko, and Fabinho. Obviously, Fabinho being the most expensive of those three. As you can see, I did buy him for 58.5k, which is quite a lot of coins, obviously, to spend even at the start of the game. Probably will drop in over time, but I just feel like he's going to play in the central centre mid position in game. You know, he just absolutely commands that position, winning the ball back, playing it around. Um, yeah, just an absolute solid player uh, on the game. Probably worth 60k, in my opinion. And then next to him, I've got uh, Musa, Musa Sissoko, who was in my um, last squad, squad builder. He's definitely one of the most underrated players in this game. Um, it was a real surprise in this team, he, he was all over the place, that's a good thing. Um, and yeah, just a very strong uh, and able midfielder. And then the left centre mid position, I've gone for uh, Adrian Rabiot. Um, he's got a, his left third, his plays on the left, he's very tall, which is great for winning headers. And uh, yeah, just a very good, a very good on the ball as well for some of that height, and just a very enjoyable player, useful player to use. And then we, the star player of the team uh, was uh, the player for Mark Lucas. It's a bit of a strange one because, um, as you see, I did do the SPC to get him. But when I first tried him, I didn't like him. I played as a right striker and he was just too weak. I obviously pushed him out to the right forward position, so he's a, bit, a lot wider in sort of more natural position. And he's been out doing absolute bits for me. His record's actually not that good over here, but I've played about three or four games today. I've won all of them in Division 5. And Lucas has been, has been absolutely banging in goals and assists. A cracking player, <laughs> as the two sync would say. Um, Great, great stats, and I think the SPC is about 40, 50k, so you can't really go wrong with that uh, SPC. 
And then the left forward position, we've gone for um, Quincy Promise, a really good player. Um, I scored an absolute beauty with him this, this evening, which I will show you in the clips later on after the, after the squad building's done. But yeah, great pace, shooting. Um, he's got a five star skill as well. I'm not much of a skill myself, but I do pull out the odd skill move here and there, that's really helpful. He's more of a creative player for me, really good on the, with crosses, and he can shoot on either foot. And uh, yeah, just a great, great player. And then at the striker position, we've gone for um, Memphis Depay. He did flop at Man United, but for me, he's been absolutely incredible. Fire style skills as well. Highlight work rate, which is perfect for a striker, because he just doesn't get tired, because he just, he just basically goal hangs, and <laughs> he waits around for the ball. Um, but he does make good runs, to be fair, as well. Um, so, a good goal scoring record for me. He did actually score more this evening for me as well, but yeah. Uh, so this is the team in full, obviously. Um, so in terms of custom tactics, uh, for defensive style I use pressure and heavy touch. This is one of my favourite tactics in the game. Um, you win the ball back really easily and your players don't lose stamina too much because they're only pressurising the opposition when they can see the opportunity to do that. And I go for fast build up, which I think works for this formation, you can just ping point it around as long as you control it, obviously. But yeah, that's the team. Really worth it in my opinion. And uh, yeah. Make sure to drop down below comments on the opinion on this team, any changes you make. Until next time, adios.